Sex education is in schools is up for debate on Beacon Hill. State lawmakers are looking to modify the Commonwealth's guidelines to include more inclusive practices. NBC10 political reporter Matt Pritchard mm -hmm. is in studio. So, Matt, this is proving to be a contentious issue at the State House. Yeah, JC, that's right. Despite the Senate, House, and Governor's chair being in Democratic hands, here's resistance to this legislation, a reoccurring theme over the last five sessions on Beacon Hill. Another legislative session. I've been filing it now for 10 years. And we've been fighting this battle to try to get this across the finish line. And another attempt to cement the Healthy Youth Act into law. Senate leadership bringing the sexual education revamp to the floor, aiming to create new teaching guidelines encompassing human anatomy, reproduction, the benefits of abstinence, and information on LGBTQ plus identities and experiences. We think it's about sexual indoctrination. And groups like the Massachusetts Family Institute have long lobbied against the bill. It's really just a euphemism for sex ed that teaches that kids are sexual from birth, that they have a right to sexual pleasure, uh, and that it's normal and good for them to be exploring their sexuality. And those behind the legislation, though, are quick to counter those claims. It doesn't start off at, at 60 miles an hour mm. in the third grade. I believe their their points and their discussion on this has become irrelevant. But getting the bill passed has been no easy task. Each year it moves out of the Senate only to falter once reaching the House. There's confidence that it can actually make it in the law into your desk this time around. Mm -hmm. Well, I, there's confidence that it will make it out of the Senate. Speaker Mariano's silence followed by a statement pointing to new curriculum from the Board of Elementary and Secondary Education, writing, quote, given that it's been less than a year since BESE adopted the new guidelines, it's important that we give school districts adequate time to implement them rather than rush to potentially amend or codify them into law. When it starts to be spoken about again, uh, the negative comments come out and it, they seem to have some kind of an impact on, on the House. We feel this is an important bill, just as important as math, science and English. Even so, Representative O'Day remains hopeful. Do you think it can pass? Do you think it can get to the If I didn't think so, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here. So the Healthy Youth Act would provide parents an opportunity to opt out of all or some of the teaching curriculum, and anyone that withdraws from the classes would be exempt from disciplinary action. Senate, by the way, will vote on their version of the bill coming up tomorrow. In studio, Matt Pritchard, NBC10 Boston.